another dime. No more money for Israel's crime. No American, no American who knew this story well would allow their tax dollars to support it. If you don't read the newspapers, you are uninformed. If you read the newspapers, you are misinformed. Uh, as a person of Jewish religion, I had avoided this issue for quite a number of years. Uh, until 1986, really, with the uh, Israeli invasion of Lebanon, and then certainly after that with the Operation Cast Lead invasion of Gaza, which was so brutal and led to the death of over 1,400 Palestinians. Uh, after that time, I went to Gaza immediately and saw for myself and just couldn't believe the level of destruction, the violence, the abuses. It was, it was just devastating. I can't imagine being a person living in Gaza, you know, wondering when the F-16s are going to be flying overhead again with the bombs that they're going to be dropping and the fact that the eyes and ears of the world aren't paying attention. It seems so wrong that women in Gaza cannot speak in their own voice to people around the world, that they are being shut away from every opportunity to express their own situation. Meanwhile, the great powers that connive in this really wicked policy of a siege are constantly quoted in the newspapers and in the media expressing their point of view. The women of Gaza, the Egyptian state has tried to silence them by preventing people like us from visiting with them and standing with them and conveying what they have to say to the rest of the world. These people cannot have visitors. The last 26 days their borders have been closed completely and they've been unable to leave and, th and that's pretty typical really. They, they get two days out and a month when it's closed. Everybody wants justice and equal rights. Why do we think that only we deserve it? Why don't we talk about the justice and rights for the Palestinians? The right for security, the right to move, the right for freedom of speech and religion. And so I think it's important for us to be pressuring uh, our government not to continue to give over three billion dollars of our tax dollars to the Israeli government. Um, the people are keep asking me, what can we do? And one of the best things to do is join in the campaign for boycott, divestment and sanctions, also known as BDS, a campaign that has really taken off in the last year. I, for myself, joined the BDS movement, which is B boycott, disinvestment and sanctions against Israel till they keep up with the humans ri human rights. I would like to say that we should stand together in solidarity with all women in this world, but especially with the Palestinian women in Gaza and the occupied territories, even the ones which live in Israel, live under apartheid laws and don't have the same rights as their other uh, neighbors. And it breaks my heart that in some ways it feels like we abandoned them. I know it wasn't our fault, but we weren't able to get through. We were detained in Egypt. For and that by not being allowed to even enter into Egypt because of the fact that we show alliance and support with the people of Gaza, I'm concerned it could be that much more of a, of a loud message to the people of Gaza of how isolated and how on their own they are in this situation and how the eyes and ears of the world for a, for a big part of this, are closed and not listening. So please, go out, join the next delegation, and visit Palestine in the occupied um, areas of Israel.